Rockabye your how? Rockabye your how? Rockabye your how? Shack. Right, man. You know, basically blessing, blessing the name of the Most High and His Son. And we, and we, and we uh, also want to give our praises to your how, Bob Shield, your how, Shack. Like give double honors to our Apostle and LJ Great Millstone. Like say salutation, peace, and love to the elect that's around the uh, four corners of the world, man. Uh, me and the brother gonna do a lesson today on uh, this uh, stay strong. How about you and how was that? Go ahead, huh? In Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord huh. and in the power of his might. Right, man. You know, you said be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, man. You know, we can't be strong in ourselves. It's not according to our own strength, man. You know, we got to be strong. And you have about you, you have a side, man. You know, I'm gonna get that word strong uh, real quick. Get that word uh, strong real quick in the Greek. Read verse, uh, read verse 10 again in verse 11. But it's clear. I think the Indu Amao, which means uh, it said to be strong, to endure with strength, to strengthen, to receive strength, be strengthened, increase in strength, to be bold, to be headstrong, man. You know? So this is what it means by being strong in, in the Lord, man. You know, you gotta be headstrong, be bold, like the, like the scripture said, uh, speak the words of the Most High, uh, you know, boldly, man. And like he, like he'll do, huh? You know, say increase, increase in strength, man, because that's what this word do, man. It increases you in, in, in strength, man. You know, mental you strength. You know, and once you get that, once you be strengthened mentally, man. You know. Then your body follows along, man. You still be feeling weak and everything, man. Once you get around the word and start to read, you know, you, hey, you'll get you'll get energy, man. You know, uh, um, it give you it give you life, huh? Like the brother said, give you life. It say to empower. Or to confirm, to strengthen. That's basically it on there, though. Uh, but it said to be bold. You want to get that in Hebrews 4 and 16 right there, God? Then we're going to go back to this. You want me to get it? Yeah. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, huh. that we might obtain mercy. And find grace to help in need in time of need. Right, man. Who was that throwing the grace, man? You have a shot, man. Because uh. he took on all our infirmities and all our sicknesses, man. Then he put on his vile flesh, man, and walked in it, you know. So, you know, for an example to us, which we're not going to be perfect like him, but, but in certain areas, we'll be strengthened and, and, and we can make it through this walk that we have to walk, man, you know. Um, go ahead. I'll go back to all that but come boldly to the throne, uh, the throne of grace, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right, man. Right. So you got to put, put on that whole armor, man. This is where your strength lies, man. In these uh, scriptures, man. Uh, you know? Yeah. So you want to say something? Nah, just the law, statutes, commandments of the most high, that's what keeps you strong, you know? Huh. That's, that's how we got, you know, you know. Huh. And like the scripture say, faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of the most high, man. You know? So, hey, no matter how you feel, man, for us physically, man, 
you got to hey, stay, you gotta stay head strong, man. You know, uh. be strong in your house, about shit in your house, shot. Go ahead, bro. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Turn, go ahead. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Turn, go ahead. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Right, so we, we, hey, we got to put on that whole armor, man. You know, we can't be missing parts of the armor, man, as we going to fall weak somewhere, man. Right. You no, know? uh, go ahead, bro. That ye may be able to withstand in the depth, in the evil day. Come, because that's what we doing, man. You know, this all, this whole, this all, uh, we, it's like we in, we in, in training right now, man. You know, to be able to stand against the evil day, man. Uh. You know, so the Lord let us be built up spiritually, man. You know, go ahead, go ahead, bro. And having done all to stand. Huh. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Huh, go ahead. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Having on the breastplate of righteousness, man. You know, uh, we rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Uh. You know, go ahead. And your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, man. Because, uh, uh, like, uh, like the scripture say, blessed is, is he that brings good tidings, man. Who is those good tidings to, man? The nation of Israel start with the elect first, man. Uh. You know, we let nine people know, look, we going to, hey, first and foremost, the way you're going to find peace on this earth right now, that mental peace. It's in these scriptures, man, you know, but it's going to turn into a physical peace, an everlasting peace, man, you know, an everlasting salvation, an everlasting joy, when you have a shot redeem us, man, you know, go ahead, bro. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Above all, taking the shield of faith, man, because that's what, that is our shield, man, our faith, and, have, and faith coming by the hearing of the word of the most high, man. Uh. That's how your faith uh, continue to grow, man. Like like when it said, be strong in the Lord. It say, increase strength, man. You know, increase faith, man. You right. know, the yeah. more videos you watch, the more reading you do, it strengthens your faith, man. You know, go ahead. And bro. every, every uh, like, warrior or battle, you know, uh, in the army, they got a shield, you know, to protect them. Oh, this ass shield. Uh. I'm trying to stay protected. Read that from the comedy, I've heard it. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Well, will ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the weak. Right, man. So it don't matter what Esau come with. It, you know, like you're saying, that in an evil day, man, you know, that we may be able to stand that evil day, that faith going to protect us, man, from mm -hmm. all the fiery darts of the wicked, man. And, and one of the uh, definitions... But that word fire and dark right there is missiles, man. You know? You can look it up, man. Oh, go ahead, bro. And take the helmet of salvation. And the helmet of salvation. That's the knowledge of salvation, man. You know? Knowing who you are, man. Coming back to your heritage, man. Uh -huh. uh, going back to Luke 1, chapter 1, man. When John said he came to um, basically bring, to give his people the knowledge of salvation, man, that they may receive remission of their sins. You know, go ahead, bro. And the sword of the Spirit. And the sword of the Spirit, man, which is this word, man. This is our sword, man. You know, like uh, Hebrews 4 and 12, man. This word is sharper than any two-edged sword, man. Huh. You know, go ahead, bro. Which is the word of God. Which is the word of the most high. Go uh, ahead. Praying always with our prayer and supplication in the spirit. Uh, and watching thereunto with our perseverance and supplication for our saints. Right, man. So we pray for one another in the spirit, man. And then it say watching thereunto with our perseverance and supplication for all the saints, man. You know, because hey, you're not walking this journey alone, man. The uh, whole key. It, it, it is is to make sure the brothers next to you are uh, straight, man. You know, uh, you know, because uh, going back into Philippians, man, let us esteem uh, the one another more than ourselves, man. You know, go ahead, bro. And for and for me, the utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my 
mouth boldly. Right, that we may open our mouth boldly, man. You know, go ahead. To to make known the mysteries of the gospel. Huh, you know, to make known the mysteries of the gospel, man. Because the mysteries of the gospel, this is the glory of the elect right now. This is the glory we have right now, man. You know, we have the mysteries of the kingdom, man. Going back to uh, 1 Corinthians, um, the second chapter, man. It's the second or the third chapter, man. You know, uh, go ahead, bro. Um, for, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly huh. as I ought to speak. And, and, and that's what we going to do. You know, as, as you as you continue to be in this truth, you got to grow stronger, man. You grow boldly to speak these words, man. You know, um, that's it, ain't that's that's the verse twenty. Yeah, I got a, a precept. Go ahead, bro. This Ephesians one and nine, <laughs> having known unto us the mysteries of His will, according to His good pleasure. Come, see, it's according to the Most High's good pleasure, man. You know, he chose the men from the beginning of, before the foundation of the world who he was going to give these mysteries to, man, according to his good pleasure, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Which he have, which, which, which he have purpose in himself. That's basically fact. Huh. Uh, I got a precept, too, I, on this, this uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. two verse 7. Huh. You want to get it? I got it. I had it. Huh, go ahead, First Corinthians uh, two and seven, but we speak the wisdom. Oh, that verse six, right? No. First Corinthians two and six. How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Huh? Among them that are perfect, man. Because according to the Most High, the elect are already perfect, man. They are already justified in His eyes, man. You know who, who should who should. Who should lay any charge against the Most High's elect, man? Nobody, man. You no. know? And that word perfect just goes into complete, man. Because we're not going to be perfect in works right now, man. You know? But we are, but we can be perfect in love towards our brother, man. You know, uh -huh. we can become perfect in love, man. I think that's Ephesians 1, man. That the perfect bounds of love, you know, uh, something to that effect, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Yet not the wisdom of the world. Yet not the wisdom of the world. Go ahead. Nor of the princes of this world. Right. No, nor of the powers of this world, man. You know, because this wisdom can found uh, they wisdom, man. No. Go ahead, bro. That come, that come to naught. That come to naught. And the princes of, and the wisdom of the princes of this world is coming to naught now, man. You know, because all these uh, roadblocks and, and, and these... Uh, spiritual strongholds they set up to deceive our people, man. They coming to not now. Why? Because we speaking that, hey, through the spirit of your how about shit and how shot, man. You know, we pushing that, that, that truth out there, man. You know, go ahead, bro. But we speak the wisdom of God in the in a mystery. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, man. You know, go ahead. Even the hidden wisdom which the Most High obtained before the world unto our glory. Even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory, man. You know, so the hidden wisdom of the Most High, this is our glory right now, man. This is what we glory in, man. Uh -huh. You know? Um, go, go back to, uh, you had some up? Mm -hmm. Put the light on. <laughs> I think it was out of go all the uh, um, Light on the phone. Sit there, look at the grip. You have phone, huh? Come on, oh, <laughs> get, get, sound good. Get, get, get first chronicles 28 and 20. Or get, get 2 Timothy first, y'all. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It might be one of them all. Uh, cut all it out. Sensor, uh, sensor, uh, it might have a sweep. Mm. 
you have a technical difficulty, say you cut the light off on me. We ain't gonna win, though. No doubt. Right, 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 see? Oh. First, first second, uh, one to seven. Oh, okay. Second Timothy, one to seven. For the most high have given us the spirit of fear, yeah. but but have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. Huh. See, so the most high have given us the spirit of fear, of fear, but of power, man. Yo, the spirit, man. Go ahead, bro. And of love. And of love. And of a sound man. Huh, and of a sound man, man. You know, so we gonna be strong in your house by shit, your house shot, man. You know? Um Go to there, go ahead. Be not that therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. Right, man. You know, go ahead. Nor of me, his prisoner. Huh. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. Right, man. So that's why you got to be headstrong uh, and continues to grow in that strength in, in, uh, in, this, in, this, uh, in this walk of ours, man. You know, in this walk, we have to walk for Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, man. Because they're going be, to be afflictions. They're going to be trials and tribulations, man. But right. we got to stay strong in Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, man. And get that uh, chronicles out. This first Chronicles 28 and 20. Come on. First Chronicles 28 and 20. Huh. And David said to Solomon, his son, be strong and good courage. Huh. And do it. Fear not. And if you look up that word strong right there in the Hebrew, it's kazak. But it actually means the same thing. Uh, if that they were strong in the Greek, man. You know, go ahead. It's the same definitions there, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Nor be dismayed for the Lord God, even my God. Nor be dismayed, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Will be with thee. Huh. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Huh. Until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. Right, so this is what David was telling Solomon, man. Before he built the uh, temple to the Most High, man. But now, how did that extend to us, man? You know, the, uh, get First Peter two and uh, five. Are you had some? Mm. Right, man. Because we build it now. You know, those elect men, those first fruits to your house, shy. We building the house of the Lord, man. You know, but we not building building the physical house, man. We building the spiritual temple, man. You know, uh, go ahead, bro. This First Peter two and five. Ye also as lively stones started on uh, what you just bro. Go start at verse four, right? First Peter two and uh, two and four. To whom coming as unto a lively stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the most high and precious. We're talking about your house shy, man, because he the cornerstone to the building, man. No, uh, go ahead, bro. He the cornerstone to that uh, spiritual building house that we building up, man. You know, because he is the word, you know. Go ahead, bro. As ye also as lively stone are see, built up. See, like then it say ye also as, li as lively stones. Go ahead. Are built up a spiritual house. And that word lively stones goes into worthy of the name, man. No, we ain't gonna get it because you know we're gonna try to kind of wrap it up, man. Just in case that light try to pop off again, man. But if you look that word lively uh, up right there, it, one of the definitions is, is worthy of the name, man. Mm. You know? So it says, Ye also are lively stones. It's going into that 144,000, man. Those first fruits to your how, uh, uh, your how, your how by ship, you know, to your how shot, man. You know? Uh, go ahead, bro. Read it again from the top, verse five. Ye, ye also, at, ye also, as lively stone, are built up a spiritual house. Huh? Are built up a spiritual house, man. You know, go ahead. And holy priesthood. Huh? To offer up spiritual sacrifices. To offer up spiritual sacrifices, man. You know, so that's what we doing, man. And we gonna stay strong and do this, man. 
No, but we got, you got to put on that full armor or you have by shield your house shot, man. You no, know, go ahead, bro. Acceptable to, to God by your how by shim your how shot. Huh, acceptable to the most high. Yeah. Come by your how shot, man. The Mashiach, man. You know? So we sending those spiritual sacrifices, man, to bring this place down, man. You know? We that out in the midst of Egypt, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to get there real quick, man. You know? Because it's going to tell you what, what, hey, we sending up those spiritual sacrifices, man. You know, you had some bro. Get a feed just for. This is Isaiah uh, chapter 19. Good, man. You know, it's all good. Right, man. So we we that built up spiritual house. Uh, we sending up those spiritual sacrifices, man. You know, to bring this wicked kingdom down, man. Because that's how Esau established America, man. Uh -huh. He sent those spiritual sacrifices, man, to the spiritual demon Satan, man. You know, um, huh? Right on time. Revelation chapter nineteen. On uh, verse 19, in that day should there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it should be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior a great one, and he should deliver them, man. So this part of that spiritual sacrifice we sending up, man. Uh -huh. You know, just like you got in Re uh, Revelation the sixth chapter, fifth chapter. Yeah, it's the sixth chapter where you had old souls asking under under the altar to uh, you how about Shem, you how shot, asking the Lord, how long, oh Lord, how long you avenge our blood upon those upon the earth, man. You know, so now we set for a sign in the midst of Egypt. Sending up those spiritual sacrifices, man. Crying to your house by Shim, your house shot. Uh, because of the old pressers, man. Right, you right, know? right. Them so, the camps around all around America, all around the world. They ain't just America, they everywhere. Huh, man. So you had that leadership uh, the leadership of IUIC saying you can't speak out against the white man, man. So we know this ain't talking about y'all, man. Huh. Because it said that those altars that's gonna be set up in Egypt, they're gonna be crying to the Lord because of the old pressers. Who are the old pressers, man? The so-called white man and, and these other nations that he used up under him, man. Mm. No? Um, you got Ephesians 4, bro? Ephesians 4. You, you had a precept? Mm. Mm. Ephesians 4 what? The top. Uh-uh. Uh. Right, man, because just like David told Solomon, be strong and, 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 until you build a house of the Lord, man. You know? Hey, that, 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 that's going right back into now, man. You know, now Paul telling, telling, you know, uh, uh, through his letters, man, we have to be strong, man. You know, um, start at verse eleven, bro. Ephesians four and eleven, and he gave some apostles huh. and some prophets and some evangelists. And some pastors and teachers. And this that this is what that whole this is what that building gonna consist of, man. All these many different offices, man. You know, go ahead to send up those spiritual sacrifices, man. Send up spiritual sacrifices to bring this place down. 
you know, doing these lessons for edification of the body, man. Uh -huh. You know, uh, go ahead, bro. For the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting of the saints, man. You know, go ahead, bro. For the work of the ministry. That's why when your house shall come back, his church gonna be blameless, man. You know, uh, go ahead, bro. For the edifying of the body of your house, sir. Right, man. So that's why all these offices are set up for, man. That's what these spiritual offices, off, offices are set up for, too, man. You know, read that verse again, not verse 12. For the perfecting of the saints. Huh. And for the work of the mystery. Ministry. Ministry. For the edification. I mean, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Uh, or your house, sir. Huh, huh. Till we all come in the unity and the faith. Till we come, till we all come in the unity of the faith, man. You know, so all these different offices were set up, man. You know, for the perfection of the saints, man. Till we all come into the unity of the faith, man. You know, go ahead. And the knowledge of the Son of God come unto a perfect man. To a perfect man, unto a complete man, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of your house shy. Come, unto that measure of the stature of the fullness of your house shy, man. Because we know each brother have their measure of faith that your house shy, your house by shimmy house shy have given them, man. Come. You know? And each brother have their measure of grace also that your house by shimmy house shy have given them, man. You know, go ahead, bro. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. That's why you got to. Be strong in the Lord, man. Be bold, man. Right. Stay head strong, you know. That you don't be tossed to and fro, man. You know. Go ahead with when when you hear different doctrines come up, man. Like that flat earth doctrine that popped up out of nowhere, man. You know. Then like you got these uh these uh these uh different pastors trying to come up against the truth now, man. You know, so called pastors, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Or just so called men who think they know something, man. You know, go ahead, bro. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. Come. By the slight of men. Come. And cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Right, by cunning craftiness, man. So they cunning and crafty with it, man. And right. this go for some of these sellout Israelite groups also, man. Um. You no, know, go ahead, bro. But by speaking the truth in love. By, but speaking the truth in love, man. And what's the love to keep another commandments, man? Uh -huh. You no, know? go ahead, bro. And that brotherly love, man. You know that brotherly love you show towards your brothers, man. You no, know? go ahead, up. May grow up into him in all things. May grow up into him in all things. Going back to that word, be strong. To grow in, man. To be a Christian, man. You no, know? go ahead, bro. Which is the head? Which is the head, man? Even. Your how was shy. Even your how was shy. Go ahead, brother. From whom the whole body built the joint together and compacted by that which every joint supply, supplied. From whom the whole body fitly joined together. And this going into that building, man. Compacted by that which every joint supplied. Go ahead. According to effect, effectual. Working in the measure of every part. According to the effectual working in the measure of every part, man. So each part of the body has to do its part, man. So uh. their body to be jointly fitted together, man. You know, supplying every joint that needed, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Make that's it. Why when, you, when, when, when brothers are so you, bro. That's why when brothers doing videos, man. If you ain't reading, if you ain't speaking, you might be looking up a word. You might be looking up an article. You know? You might be on post. But, hey, it's all, it, that's all a part of their body, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. <laughs> hey, make it increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love, man. Because at the end of the day, that's what the whole prophets in the law hang up on, man. Love you how about shim you how shy with all that heart. Then they say even this, even this second commandment, it links to the first one, man. Love thy neighbor as thy love thyself, man. Uh -huh. You know? Um, that's it on it, all right? Um, you had something, bro? Mm -mm. Get Isaiah 40. We'll get this probably ending with that Psalm 73. That'll work.
Come on. What you got, though? Um, Isaiah. Yeah, I think Isaiah 40. I think it's around the last couple of verses. Start at verse 28, bro. Isaiah 40 and 28. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of uh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. All right, so the Lord don't get tired, man. You know, go ahead, bro. He give it power to the faint. He give it power to the faint, though, man. So it don't matter how you feel physically, man. He, that, but that's who he give it power to, man. You know, he give it power to the faint, man. You know, so we just got to keep keep rolling, stay strong, and endure to the end, man. You know, but you got to put on that full armor, man. Uh -huh. You know, and like you say, above all, uh, taking faith, which is your shield. Faith coming by hearing uh, the word of the Most High, man. You know, uh, go ahead, bro. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. He increases strength. Going back into that word, stay strong, man. You know, but you got to stay strong when you have about shooting, you have a shot, man. This ain't a corn tire on strength, man. Go ahead, bro. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young shall utterly fall. Come on. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. But they that wait upon the Lord... Don't be strong in your house by shim your house shot, man. Going back to the definition of strong, man. Renew that strength. Go ahead, bro. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Huh. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Right, man. Because it's like the scripture said, the Lord don't get tired. He don't get weary, man. Huh. So his spirit don't constantly renew us, man. Don't constantly strengthen us, increase our strength as time go on, man. Right, Physically. Right. And, 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 and you get that physical strength, man. That give you that that that, that, that where you get that um, mental strength. That gives you that kind of gives you that um, physical strength, man. You know, cause you can be feeling weak or something, but if your spirit tell you to go on, you will shake it off and, and go on, man. Right, you know? right, right. That's what these words do. It, it give you it give you strength, you know. And you can be down or something, you know. You might read the scripture and it just boosts you back up. Huh? Give you a little more, get that little more push you need. But the more we into the word, the more strong you will, you know. Huh. On this second Corinthians uh, chapter 12. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 10. I'm going to read verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses, for you have a shot of my sakes. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Come, man. You know, because power going to when he, when he, when he, he is physical weak, he become mentally strong, man. He come, he come weak for you have a shot of sake. He come mentally strong, man, because when the body starts to break down, like the brother said, you read these words, man, they give you mental strength and right. physical strength, man. No, um, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. Psalm 73. Huh. Psalm 73 and 23. Uh. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Huh. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. Huh, man. Go ahead. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. Huh. And, and, and it's counsel. It's, hey, the, hey. You have about him, you have shy's counsel is his word, man. You know, he used he used men to, to put his word out there, man. Start with the apostles and elders at great men stone, man. You know? Uh, read that verse again out. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. Come. And afterward receive me to glory. <laughs> and afterward, you know, Lord willing, we are part of that elect. He's gonna receive us into glory, man. You know, but right now the mysteries of this word is our glory, man. You know? Read that uh, whole verse again, and I'm going to close with this. Psalm 73 and 24. Uh -oh. that, okay, read verse 23. Well, I'm going to do this stuff, yeah. 23, 73 and 23. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding me 
by my right hand. So you have by Shimon have a shine continually with the elect, man. You know, go ahead. Thou shalt guide me with that counsel. And he guided us with his counsel, man. You know, go ahead. And afterward, receive me to glory. Afterward, receive us into glory. We had, hey, hey the Lord will, we part of that elect, man. Uh -huh. You know? Hey, so, with that, man, brothers, hey, stay strong in the Lord, you know? Continue to increase in your strength, man. You know? You stay headstrong, man. You right. Know, we, hey, you gonna, you gonna speak this word boldly? You gonna say something boldly? Nah, these spirits are pushing, these scriptures allow us to do the commandment. Come. You know, you know, you get your, get, get buffed. He buffing his truth, man. He's strong, you know. <laughs> Good, man. For real. You know? Hey, man. But, hey, Lord will, man, you know, brothers will edify with this lesson, man. You know? Hey, through the spirit, man, we're going we gonna to stay strong. You know? Brothers, stay strong, man. You know? Hey, first and foremost, like always, man, our praises go to you have by Shem, Shem you have Shem. You know, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Salutation, peace, and love to the elect. That's around the four corners of the earth. Stay um, strong, stay man. Strong. Those who endure to the end, man, the same shall be saved, man. Um, no, shallow wounds. Shallow wounds.